Hello. Um, this is uh, one of my favourite pastimes is kissing Jan. I've kissed her four and a half, I've kissed her from Teddington to Rome. Uh, I've kissed her, I don't know what the medical name from here is, the hinge of the elbow on the other side there. Uh, and my favourite place to kiss her, of course, is her philtrum, just because I can find it. Mel, could you put your finger in your philtrum for me? Yes. Good girl, yes. And in Latin, that's that little area between Sorry, your, here. your upper lip and your nose, your philtrum. And in Latin, it's actually... I'm not confusing the dog with No wonder, no. That <laughs> <laughs> gets you into trouble, that. That's just taking a lovely photograph of you poking in your Latin nose. In Latin, it's actually called uh, your love potion. So I thought, hey, that's a great title for a poem. So, you know, can you put your uh, finger in your love potion? Huh? That's it. Very good. Can everybody put their finger on their love potion, please? Can I put it on someone else's? I see all this <laughs> No, because that will start Alan off with you. Yeah, yeah. The place that you aren't supposed to. It'll all get you itself. So this is called, yes. <laughs> this is called Love Potion. I kiss your philtrum and you moan. I lick a tiny trickle of sweat from it. I know it has no apparent function and survives between your delightful nose and your delicious upper lip. But what of it? A kiss fits so neatly into it, and leads to lips and lips upon lips, ending in an erotic ellipsis. I love to look upon it as the indent left by the finger of God, or where an angel shushes the yet to be born, teaching it to forget all it has learned in the world of the womb. I kiss again your philtrum. A kiss fits so neatly into it. This is called earthquake, earthquake cleavage. <laughs> Between your breasts, the fly is perfectly still. I gaze at it as a trickle of perspiration crawls slowly towards it, as if it could engulf it. The fly, however, is unmoved by it, held as it is forever in amber, moving only now as your cleavage is shaken by the earthquake of your lovely laughter. <sighs> This is called uh, Bach for Christmas. I was in York for Christmas and they were going to do Bach's B minor mass in the cathedral or something like that. And we had to go home without seeing it. But we could sit in in rehearsals and we thought, okay, it's professional singers, see them pushing themselves through their bases, getting ready for the big thing tonight. It wasn't quite like that. This is called Bach for Christmas. The church orchestra search around for an E sharp. The conductor blows his nose, but as the oboe player points out, that's an F sharp. They laugh. The singer starts singing words like stepping across ice as it cracks. In the beginning was the word, and the word was I like. Yet more laughter. The stained glass listens to their musical tomfoolery as they practice their perfection and the rehearsals drag on. Tonight will be nothing but holy. A pagan tree cowers in a corner all Christmassy. A church hanging proclaiming praise him hail and lightning. As we two lost souls, the light and the music have been human. <laughs> I actually wrote this on an Italian beach with over 90 degrees heat with very naked Italian or semi-naked Italian ladies walking up and down without ever getting wet for four hours just on their mobile going, yes, I'm on the beach. And that's all they did. Italian thing to do, I guess. And the subject was this, and the world was as simple as snow. You are like all the dark shops of my childhood, where you enter with the little tinkle of a bell, and the world blossoms into a myriad of things colourful to sell, stacked in impossible and impeccable order, all yelling, shining, glinty, wild and glassy. And the cash register singing with the hard-earned money and the little tinkle of a bell lets you out again into a world excited with the falling of snow and the palpable approach of a Christmas when Christmas was Christmas and the world was as simple as snow. Mm -hmm. oh. In the middle of July, my little girl came to me uh, with a present. And this is called the present moment. She offers me the gift in expertly and awkwardly wrapped Christmas paper in July, water drips from its centre. I open it and am greeted by a stone, a bunch of grass with roots still attached, and two and a half twigs, a half crazy bug who just happened to be caught up in it. It's a present of here. I thanked her and she trundled off, 
telling her Dolly called Dolly, see, I know him. I told you he'd like him. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that moment when Adam mistakes uh, the filtrum for the... Her name. Her name. <laughs> That's a, a catastrophe, a catastrophe, you know. <laughs> the cat peed in my dad's hat. My dad wasn't particularly pleased with that. He shouted, Oi! No! Oh! Stop! Scat! Cat! The cat answered back, Me? How? <laughs> my dad said, That's that! That cat has got to go! We said no! The cat said, Exactly! When you gotta go, you gotta go! My dad said, It's either that cat or me! Still have the cat. <laughs> now that dad's gone. We still miss Daddy sometimes, but mostly we laugh with the cat. And to finish, I fell in love with this lady when I was 12 years of age. Um, there's an age difference, of course, it wouldn't work out. She was over 140. Uh, she had her, her, her 181st birthday on Sunday. Uh, I first met her when our English teacher told us to open our books, and he said, I hate teaching this woman, I can't understand her. I looked down, it was love at first sight. So this is called Love Song for Emily, Emily Dickinson. You handed me your eyes so that I could see as you saw. I looking in wonder, seeing you sew the world together in quick little stitches. A perfect embroidery of knowing, drawing the thread true and true until nimble as a needle I knew as you knew. Oh Emily, I was always in love with the beauty of your eyes and how they saw and said the world. The quick dashes of your mind like braille to my blindness, the morse code of your thought, leading me through the labyrinth of you bound in a nutshell, until I arrived at the beauty of your eyes, and you handed me your seeing, and I saw. Thank you. Oh. Okay.